Hello friends, this video on light part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Laws of Reflection, Image Formation by Clean Mirrors, Regular Reflection, Diffused Reflection, Multiple Images, Kaleidoscope, Sunlight, Human Eye and Braille System for Visually Challenged People. Light. So we are going to talk about something very, very important for us and at the same time extremely interesting. Have you ever thought what enables us to see this beautiful world around us? You look at your house or you look at a hotel, a restaurant, uh, a hills, park, the beautiful day, everything. So how are you able to see things? Now, if you look at the screen, you can see a couple of things present there. For example, there is television, there are windows from where you can see a beautiful snowfall outside. There is a clock, there is a telephone. There are so many stuffs which you can very clearly see. Now, what is that primary thing which is required to see these things? Any thoughts? Many of you might say that our eyes help us to see. Yes, of course, you have your eyes, let us say that right now you are able to see it. So if your eyes are the only things that enable you to see, then what is that magic that happens in the dark? So if I switch off all the lights present in that room, will you be able to see the things present in that room? No. Now again, when you switch on the light, you are again able to see everything. So light enables us to see. It is because of light. There are so many phenomena which happens with light. There is reflection of light, refraction of light, dispersion of light. So we will talk about all of them gradually one by one. So here in this lesson, we are going to see how exactly which phenomenon of light directly helps us to see all these objects. And that is when we are going to talk about reflection. So light is going to be something very basic, very important and very interesting as well. Now, you look at so many other objects. You look at a beautiful scenery, the hills, mountains, rivers, oceans, trees, so many things, right? Other organisms and everything happens due to the presence of light. Not only it is only about uh, viewing nature, you are able to read or write, there also your, uh, the, your sight, eyesight is playing a very important role. So will you be able to read a book in the dark? No, because you need to see the letters in order to read them. Similarly, uh, when you write, that time also you need light, only then you will be able to write. So. All these things require light. So light is actually a, a, a very beautiful thing. Now the question is, when we talk about our vision or when we talk about what we are seeing, now light is not the only thing. Of course, light is one primary thing which is required to see things around us, of course. But other than light also, there are a few other things which are also needed in order to see things. The second thing would be our precious eyes because our eyes are those organs which actually help us to see objects but it will help us to see objects only when light is present. Maybe less light like when the light is quite dim inside your room. So, so you find it difficult to read stuff but still you are able to read it. In fact when the light is extremely less during night time if you compare the amount of light present during night with the amount of light present during daytime. Of course, the amount of light at night is very less, but still we are able to manage seeing things. Now, our eyes are also a very beautiful thing. It is very mysterious. There are so many different things happening inside our eyes, which help us to see objects. Now, do you think that only light and your eyes alone can help you see everything what you are actually seeing today? No, you also need your brain to work in proper sync with your eyes because it is your brain which tells you what you are seeing. For example, when I look at, uh, say, a beautiful hill, so how do you feel when you look at this beautiful hill? You say, oh wow, such a beautiful hill. But how do you know that whatever you are seeing is a hill? 
that is decided by your brain brain is the control center of our body our eyes they just do the job of reflecting the light they just enables us to see things but how do we perceive what we are seeing whether we are whatever we are seeing if that is a bottle or that is a girl or that is a hill or that is a tree how do we know that so that perception is given by our brain so light eyes and brain these are three basic basic things which are required for us to see this beautiful world around us so in this lesson we are primarily going to talk about light we are going to talk about reflection of light and how reflection of light helps us to see objects then we are going to talk about eyes the structure of our eyes and how eyes help us to see things so that is our uh, quick agenda in this lesson thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.